Hey, what's going on guys? It's I Am Beowulf. Back at with another video, repping I Am Beowulf merch. Got the RXPX 300. Hey, right next to the RXPX. Check out the merch on IamBeowulf.com. Just launched a couple days ago. But anyways, let's get about the video. So I have here a Triton Elite trailer um, from Triton. Aluminum trailer, awesome. Now when I bought the trailer, the dealer came with this like really cheap trailer jack. And if you can look, um, this really didn't get a lot of salt water on it, but it's, I put marine grease and what happened is it somehow rested where I can't even add the grease. I've been trying to like lube it up with marine grease and it is impossible to lift up and down. So my goal is today is swap this one out. It's a thousand pound trailer jack. Um, I bought another one that's a thousand pounds. I picked that one up actually at Bass Pro Shop. This one hit, says it has some type of uh, C code on it. But check that out. Premium corrosion protection. Salt water tested. So this is like what should have been on it from the start. It looks like it has a better wheel than what the wheel is on there. It's, um, it, it's just kind of upsetting that I don't remember what they charged me, but I mean, it didn't even last a full year and the thing is just trash. Um, so that's why I got this one. So I'm going to swap them out. All right, so the first thing you want to do is have the thing on the, uh, your vehicle jacked up. Otherwise, you have to put like a, a, like a jack stand to get it up. So I got it up level so now I can just pull this thing off. Pretty straightforward. My goal is to put it kind of back in the same spot where it was before the new one. You also need wrench to hold the bolt in place. I'm going to do this spin. Got that pulled out. So there's that one pulled out. Now the next step is to unbox the new one. But it's pretty crazy with the coating. You can tell this is just like a regular finish, like a regular trailer jack. This one has a special coating all over it that will cause it, will help it. This one will cause the rust. This one will help not it rusting with the coating. So this is a way better um, trailer jack than this one is not made for the ocean. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is hook these bolts on the top. And then this single is where the top will be with that. So we're just trying to figure out what side is the best I want to have it on before it was on this side. So we'll just reverse the side it was on before. So you start with putting the first nut on the top. You have to hold it in place, otherwise the thing will drop. Um, and I'm just trying to line it up similar to where it was on the other one. Even though it's a different system, so it's going to kind of be in a different spot. And once you kind of get this kind of snugged in, 
It should hold in place while you do the other ones, and then you should tighten all of them at once. All right, so there we go. We got it kind of in place. Let's get the next ones. And you'll see as you can't mount from this, it'll be the bottom hole. So we'll get the hardware out. Just hook the nut in. That's a pretty easy thing to install. Does not, not that you need to go to your dealer. So this kind of helps if somebody has had it where like they bought a trailer and they had to replace this or you're installing one. The big thing is you have to have it off the ground to install something like this. We want to kind of get them half hand tightened before you use the socket to tighten them all the way. Just want to make sure everything's kind of like lined up and straight. All right, there we go. It's kind of goofy that they didn't have one. It was anti corrosive. You buy an aluminum trailer, you figure you'd be all set, but. Not always is a fact. All right, so it looks like I got it hooked up. Not over, <laughs> you gotta stuck the handle part on. It's pretty straightforward.
right, so got the whole thing installed. Really easy. Get that thing out of the way. Now watch how easy this thing will be to lower. Before I had to hold the old wheel in place from it um, spinning and stuff. Really nice. Yep. Nice and easy. Oh, this thing is so easy to use. All right, so that's how you install it. All right, so I hope this helped my viewers how to install trailer jack for the front of a jet ski trailer. Uh, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, become part of the Beowulf Nation to my existing subscribers. Woo, big things, 2019. So hit that subscribe button, check out the merch at IamBeowulf.com. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Trouble over.